What's up guys, Celestia here again, back with another achievement guide, this time for Hello Neighbor 2. Pretty sure I'm a little bit late to the party on this guide, as there's probably loads out there, but since I've started them back up again, I thought I might as well do one for it since I've completed it recently. And someone in my Iris Fall video said that they kind of like people talking over the guide instead of just jumping in every so often. So I'll try and chat for a little bit with you guys and guide you through it. First off, I hate stealth type games. Anybody who's been in my stream knows I am not a stealth person. <laughs> I run in as much as I can and just do whatever I can with just non-stealth, even in stealth games. So you'll probably see quite a bit of edits in this because I fuck up quite a bit. And you can kind of judge for yourself how this guide is from that. But I've cut it down a bit so you can kind of see the proper aspects of the game. And you can be guided properly through it so we'll see how it goes from here but i'll guide you through this part so this is the start area it's pretty easy you just need to get these cogs and then put them into the door and open the door so you can actually grab the crowbar and open this box to get a rock but just throw the crowbar at this it's quicker it gets you into the cog easier and just pick up the crowbar again you can open the box again which i did because i was like oh what's in this box but it's just rocks to break <laughs> break the thing i already broke so you don't need to do that so just follow this bit through you don't need to go back in here just ignore this go to where the wood is when you turn around here that bit of wood take that off the wall and then climb up the ladder there's nothing in this bottom part and then once you're up here you just do a double jump and well not a double jump a jump and a grab and jump up here get the last well get the second to last cog i think it is or is it the last cog Oh, that's the last cog. There you go. So just put the cogs in that you have and then open the door and that's it. So one of the tricks with this is every time you sort of complete an objective, you want to reload last checkpoint because it takes you to exactly where you need to go instead of having to walk there. So if you see me do that in this video, I think I do it here. I'm just sort of exploring just to figure out what's going on. Yeah, so load last save and then it takes you to the point where you need to be instead of exploring. Also, side note, I hated the first Hello Neighbor. I don't get what the hype around it was. It was just one of those YouTube games that people were like, oh, we'll make it so that YouTubers react to it. Hated it. I completed it, but I hated it. And also, this one is basically the same sort of garbage. It's like a, it's better because it's more puzzly, and I like puzzles, but yeah. So basically, turn around, go up this uh, tree, and then you go into this little tree house here. And then all you need to do is copy this thing on the wall here, you grab his arm. And then you put it into the little robot behind you. And then just change his arms to how I do them. And there you go, there's the lever. So this lever triggers a little train that gives you some scissors, I believe. Is it scissors or is it... Yeah, scissors. I recorded this a while ago just in case you guys didn't know. I've been too busy doing the other sort of shorter achievement guides. Like for Hellsinger and stuff. And it seems like a lot of people like that sort of video. Don't throw the scissors down, you need these. So try and keep them as long as you can. So you're only really doing this so you can get into the... The neighbor house that was in the first game, I believe. So you just walk all the way down, jump off the roof. And then we're going to have to go in here. So this guy is basically like the neighbor from the first game. He will catch you and chuck you out. So you want to make sure you don't get seen by him. He is a bit stupid and you can leap over things in this game. I don't think you could do that in the first Hello Neighbor. But basically just come around the side entrance. I think he actually bugs a bit in here for me. But I don't think he's he recognizes noise that well. Because I was just running around. And he didn't seem to run at me like the neighbor used to. But you come over here. And you change it to not not, and this opens the little side door where you can get the doll. There's another crowbar here in case you need one, but you just need this doll. And then for this one, it is one nine eight four, and then you get this key. Also, if the neighbor catches you, he eh, not the neighbor, the security guard. He will take most of the stuff off you, if not all of the stuff. So you want to make sure you have the puzzles completed before he catches you. So if you're unsure of whether you can do all this at once, you just 
solve the puzzles before you start gathering other stuff or you put the item into the thing so you don't lose it. I'll show you an example of this in a few minutes because this is where I started getting caught quite a lot. This part is actually probably the hardest part in the game, this one level. All the rest of them are pretty simple. So you just put the neighbour up here and then for the second doll we want to put it in the middle. I think I accidentally put it on the left. Or maybe it just changes to where it is but I think I have to change it here. Yeah, so you put her in the middle. And then what you want to do is get your crowbar out and take this wood panel off the door and grab the next doll, which you also put on the house. And then you grab the extra key. So here is where you want to use these keys so you don't get them taken off you. The puzzles will still be solved if you lose the keys because you'll just be able to grab them from the puzzle that you solved. But like I said, you want to kind of use the keys when you get them, just so they're out of the way. And also, I think this is where he's either bugged or he's just taken a crap load of donuts for some reason. I watched him here for a few minutes and I was like, why does it keep saving? <laughs> so I just calmly opened the door and walked to the door to open it with the keys. Yeah, I just opened the door there to see if he would start charging me, but he doesn't. I think I crouch as well, just to make sure. Oh, do I not? No, I don't. Oh, okay. So he was clearly just bugged at this point. But you open lock number one and three with those keys. I think he sees me there, yeah. So this is where I sprint. This is where my non-stealth uh, part of gaming comes in. So you just want to go upstairs with the scissors and you snip these. And then you come up here. This is where I messed up a lot, so you'll probably see a lot of cuts, but I'll try and explain. So when you go in this door, you want to pick up this lever and you put it on the bookcase behind you. This opens up the bookcase. You go in and you snip these to get the battery. Snip them, yep. And then you get the battery and you keep that with you. That's for a little bit later on. So then you run over here and you also snip these. So the thing I started to do later on was just put the pictures in the picture pieces in the actual picture frame instead of keeping them on you because you'll lose them all if he catches you. And sometimes you can jump up here and he doesn't see you but for some reason he had a hard on for me and he kept coming for me even if I was standing up here hiding. So like it looks like he doesn't see me for a second here but then he just runs up and grabs me with his telekinetic hands. So yeah that picture frame on your right there as I'm passing you want to make sure you put them in there so you don't lose them. So you grab the weight and then you come over here there's a picture piece in here too. So you grab that. You can go back and place it in the picture if you want, but I usually kept this one because if you lose it, it's only there. So you put the weight on this um, weight pad here, and then that triggers, I believe that opens this. And then you use the battery in this little motorized car. This makes a lot of noise, so he usually comes in. In my experience, every time I did this, I just hid like right next to myself because this gives you a key, but I just stood here and he didn't see me somehow. So yeah, grab the key. You might see this stuttering a bit. I don't know why that's doing that. It's either the video or it's the game. And then you come over here to the pillows and you snip these pillows to get the last piece of the picture. And then you'll probably see a very big edit because I'm pretty sure he catches me loads here and it really annoys me. So I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just gonna, yep. I try and hide, he grabs me, etc. So this skips ahead a bit, I think. Yeah, so we go in. We've got all the last picture pieces here. I've put them all in the frame. And then you've got the thing that opens here. This is the other key, the last key you need. Because obviously you got the key from the little motorized car. I threw my crowbar at him for some reason, so make sure you pick that up if you did that. So yeah, pick up the last key and then make your way down to the, the door and just put the keys in the door. He's doing his weird donut grabbing routine again. So just put the keys in the door, open the door and then go down. And this is the first section of the game over and you get your achievement. So then after this part you grab the key. Once you stand about for a second, grab the key. <laughs> and then you go up to the door, open the door, and then you can do the same thing as before, load last save once you skip the cutscene. This takes you to the next part you need to go, which is the museum, I believe. Yeah, so this is the probably the easiest one in the in the entire game, very quick. So all you do is you just run into the museum and I'm pretty sure you just pick up the shovel in this one. 
and then you unlock your other achievement. Yep. Sometimes it won't actually teleport you out or load, so you just do the last save thing, because it happened to me a few times. But you want to do this anyway, so load last save, and then it takes you to the same place you need to be again. So this one was actually quite fun. It is another sort of you have to hide or like they'll catch you type deal, but it's a lot easier than the first level and you only really need to interact with the the baker like once, which is to grab a item off them I believe. So what you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to grab the valve. And then we're gonna come back in this room later, because we'll need to come back in here for a couple achievements. So then we come up the ladder. smash this window with something. This will usually make a lot of noise so the baker might come up. I don't think they came up in my playthrough. Um, I think they came up a little bit after so I had to just like cut. Yeah so like throw something at it. Not just <laughs> Yeah there you go. So then you pick up these items again and then what you want to do when you come through here is you want to be kind of cautious but you want to come through and you want to snip this and then you want to put it on the clock and you want to change the time to 25 to 11. It can be a bit tricky because sometimes you touch both hands at the same time and it gets really annoying. I made a quick cut here because you want to put the valve on this red thing before you go out the window. You only need to turn it once. I don't know why I turn it like a bunch of times. You come out here and then you cut down this bush with the scissors that you've got. This gives you the second number. And then what you want to do with these is you want to put them in the register so you don't lose them. So you don't have to go through all that again in case the baker catches you. So you just come down here to the entrance. I'm pretty sure you can go into the front of the shop without the baker attacking you. So I'm not sure if you can go behind the counter to where the register is because usually that wouldn't fly if you went into a restaurant and did that. But basically just go put the numbers on and then we're going to head out and get the next numbers. So the next set of numbers, you come into here, you need to make sure the baker's not here, otherwise they'll catch you. Get the ice, throw the ice into the fire here, and then get the fire, I was about to say flamethrower, get the fire extinguisher, and then put it out. This can be a little bit tricky as well, just with like the way the animation works, but pick it up. And then unequip your fire extinguisher, because it gets really annoying when you keep fire extinguishing things, <laughs> and when you're trying to pick things up. I think you'll probably see me use it a few times before that. So with this key, you want to come back up the ladder to the top. And then you want to open the book that's just inside the window that we broke at the start. So just wait for the baker to leave, if they're there. So yeah, baker gone. And then open the book. And then fire extinguisher the book, if you want. But just grab the number that's inside. And then we're almost done. So the thing I did, I think I put it onto the register just so I don't lose this one as well. You don't need to do that if you're confident, but I was I hate stealth, like I said before, so anything I can do to make this easier for myself, I did. So then you come back in here, make sure the baker's not about. You actually do need the baker for this next part, so I think I tried to lure them in here. Yeah. So you need to steal something from the baker's back pocket here. So the best way to do it is just lure them there and then just walk behind them here. It's just another key, I believe. So you pick up this key, run away so the baker doesn't catch you. And then we're going to go back to the door that we were in at the start of the, this level, which is opening the refrigerator. So this is for another achievement. So we open this refrigerator here, pick up the little fish biscuit, and then we open this door and we give it to the cat. And then once the cat's all happy you get the number and you also get to pet the cat which gives you a different achievement so i'm using the fire extinguisher on the cat here to try and pet it but it works anyway so you get your 80g for doing that and then you get the last number which you put into the register now and then that's this part over also i really don't get what the hype is with these games was it just a youtube thing was this just a YouTube fad at the time where it's like all these sort of games came out and they're like, oh look, Among the Sleep, oh hello neighbor, oh all these games that are like 
less than an hour long, but they're just garbage. Okay, so do the same thing again. You get the key, and then you just reload your save. And this takes you back to the museum. I'm pretty sure this was one of the frustrating parts for me as well, because the neighbor's here now, which is always a fun time. So before you go and open the door, you just go in here and grab the red house and then put it on the red part of the map. Easy as that. And then you go and use this key to open the door. And hello neighbor, too, because that's what he is now. So yeah, he'll just do the same thing as what the security guard did. He'll grab you and just throw you out. So if you have any of your specific items for this area, you'll lose them. Obviously, I still have the three that I have there, but you'll lose anything like the houses or anything you pick up. So what you want to do is you want to break the thing that's next to him right now. So I break it. Uh, no, I don't think you need to break it, actually. I think it's just open. So you grab that house and then put it on the thing so you don't lose it if he's chasing you. And then the one you need to break is on the left-hand side. Which I might do a jump cut here because I break it and then he catches me. So the one to the left there, you can see inside the door. So yeah, this one here. Break it. If he catches you, it'll still stay broken, but then you can just run in and grab the house. Which is what I did. I also picked up the fire extinguisher. I don't think you need it for this level, but I just wanted to make sure. So then bolt and run out the door so he doesn't catch you and take the house. Then just let him go. Pretty sure he also bugs in this level for me as well, which is kind of funny. Everything seems to always bug with me when I play these games. At least the achievements didn't bug. And then you pick up this key after you place the house. Also, is that some? I feel like I'm going on a tangent here, but is that something anyone else has difficulty with? Like, from the 360, there was never an issue with achievements unlocking. But since the Xbox One and the Series X, there's always some sort of weird achievement issue. Like, either it lags for the unlock or it just doesn't unlock at all. Like, I've played Shadow of Mordor and not had achievements unlock for the actual story so I have to go through the entire story again so anyway I digress cut that thing open grab the lamp and then change the lamps to how you see them here and then this unlocks the painting and then you cut this open go through and grab the key also same again if you get caught all your stuff's gonna get taken I think I get caught here take the fish head as well and then you want to open this door here with the wood on top of it. I'm pretty sure I get caught here. I was looking for the neighbour and I didn't realise it was actually behind me. Yeah, so this is where it bugs for me, which is kind of good. Because he's just like, no, stay back, don't come inside my house. Well, I'm going to go inside anyway. Bye-bye. So this made it a bit easier for me. So hopefully, if it happens, it happens to you too. So yeah, you want to grab the two bits you lost if he grabs you. Like I said, the puzzle stays solved, so you just go in and grab the stuff. And then you want to come up the stairs. And you want to put the fish head that you got on top of the fish statue, which is the middle one. I almost put it on top of the bear, <laughs> but you put it on top of the fish. And then this is where we're going to get another achievement, which isn't related to the chapters. It's just another random one you can get. Pretty sure it's related to Assassin's Creed because it's called synchronization or something for when you climb the towers and you examine the areas. For some reason I'm having trouble getting up the ladder. Also, in this, the ladders have a bit of difficulty registering where you are. Like when I climbed over the house, my head goes inside my body for some reason, and then it goes back to normal. So you'll see what I mean here. Like the ladder on the way down. You could probably just jump down, but for some reason it kept grabbing me onto the ladder. But yeah, you want to go down this ladder <laughs> once your head stops being inside your body. And then you go up the ladder here, all the way to the top, and then you stand there for a few seconds and let the achievement unlock. Just admire the view for a second. I'm pretty sure you can't jump down either, because otherwise you'll die. Like, there is actual fall damage in this game, but I don't know what the actual height is for death. So you want to go back down into the house from here, so it's back the way you came. I 
But yeah, I've always noticed that with achievements recently. Like, if I'm going for achievements in games and I go back to the 360 to play some of the 360 games that aren't backwards compatible, they always unlock the millisecond you do something that's related to the achievement. But Xbox One, Series X, nah. It's like, oh cool, you've done something. All right, I'll wait a week for it to unlock. It's the same with the grounded uh, save that I've been sharing to people. Sometimes that unlocks for some people, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, go in here with the key that you've got. And then you want to smash this open. And that triggers the cutscene, just skip. Skip all the cutscenes to make this quicker. No one cares about the story for Hello Neighbor. Cool, and then same again, just reload your last save. And then you're at this house. So there's a quick way to do this. If you know the code, you can just enter it, but I think you still need to dig it up. So what we're wanting to do is grab a shovel first. So just run all the way over here and then go up the house. But yeah, the I've always seen that with achievements recently. If I'm doing an achievement game and I'm like, either that or if I'm doing a normal game and I'm unlocking achievements here or there, and then I come to the end of the game and I'm like, wait, didn't I do that in the story? And it's just a story achievement, which didn't unlock for some reason. It really, really frustrates me. I don't know about you guys, but for being someone who, who physically hunts achievements and then to just not have them unlocked because for some reason the Xbox hasn't synced with online or something, I don't know what it is, but it happens to me so many times and I hate it. But yeah, grab the shovel and then just come all the way down here. I think I slide off the house because I thought I could maybe jump to that wood if I die. But anyway, you still have the, the shovel. So you want to go to the house again, all the way over here. I'm gonna leave this in just so you can see where the actual safe is you need to dig up so you just run around the front of the house here and then there should be a big mound of dirt here which hides the safe not very hidden and then you want to enter 80164 and then grab the key and that's it so 80164, open the safe, grab the key. Sometimes it'll teleport you, sometimes it won't. So you'll just do the same thing and reload last save. I think we're just over halfway. Sometimes it'll take you longer, sometimes it'll be shorter. It just depends on how annoying the neighbor can be or how annoying the security card, uh, security card? Security guard wants to be. But near the end of the game, he started being really, really buggy for me and just like zipping around like the Flash. So, yeah, that gets a bit annoying. I think here I just start running because I'm like, I'm not bothered with stealth anymore. I kind of know how his mechanics work. So you want to run up, use the key here. You can hide in this room, um, but he usually doesn't come up here. Sometimes he will if he, if he can see you. But most of the time, just hide out and then just go over to the safe when you know it's safe. Haha. <laughs> and then enter the code. So the code is one, one, three, five. One, one, three, five. And then grab the camera. This part's done. See, that's what I mean. That achievement should have popped about 10 seconds ago. All right, anyway, load the last save again. And then we're at this mansion area, which you should still have the shovel from the area you did, unless for some reason you dropped it. So you don't pick up the shovel. See, I've still got the shovel. So that's fine. So you just go inside the house. There is someone who'll chase you in here as well, because obviously that's kind of how this game works. There's always going to be someone chasing you. But you just go up the stairs here into the trophy room, which is what we're going to use for like the main puzzle of this area. So you need to get five, I believe. Yeah, five, five sort of things. So you go out this window and then you go right. So you turn up right here and jump up the weird garden things that you know the ivy grows on. So you jump up there, climb up this window, and then you go over these little bits of wood to this other area. And then you use the fuse box, which is behind you here, and you grab the fuse, take the wood off with your crowbar, which you should still have unless you dropped it somewhere. And then we're going to keep this for a minute and we're going to use it soon. But we're going to jump down here and grab one of the first sort of trophies you need. 
Not an achievement, a trophy. We're playing PlayStation at the moment, apparently. So, trophy's in here, grab it. And like I said before, if you're unsure whether you're going to get caught or not, make sure to put the trophies down, because otherwise you're going to have to find them all again. I have to do that for a couple of them here, I think. So from my experience, just listen to me and just put them down when you can. So you want to come through here, this is like a little secret passageway, and I think I get caught here. Yep, because he's behind me. Why are they always behind me? <laughs> so go back through, and then you're going to use the bed to like trampoline up here. And then this is the next trophy. And then you're going to use that fuse that you picked up earlier on this fuse box here. For some reason, I didn't have it. I guess I must have got caught at that point, um, and I just edited it out. But basically, the fuse, if you haven't got caught, you'll still have it. Put it in there, and then it opens this. So you do 8, 6, 9, 1. 8, 6, 9, 1. Pick up the trophy, put them both down as fast as you can. So you can see I already did that other one there just to get out of the way so he doesn't catch me again. So they're down. So now you just want to avoid him here if he's coming through to get you. He doesn't really come through that door. He has to go all the way around if he wants to catch you. So what you want to do is you want to smash this. Grab the record. Make sure you pick up whatever it was you threw it smash it with. Jump over here. Don't worry about dying here as long as you land somewhere a little bit higher up, you won't die. So then you go through here, go back through the door to the main entrance, and go over to this door here, which we haven't entered yet. Well, first we have to press yellow, red, green, and blue. Just in that order. And then, for some reason, he doesn't see me here, but we just want to put the vinyl on the player here. And then if you look up, the disco ball that came down is how you get up. So you jump up to the bit where the disco ball is. And here's your next trophy. So there is also a missable achievement in this area too, um, for petting the dog, which we'll do now, I think. Like I said, it's been a while since I recorded this, so this is just me voiceover in it. So you guys can kind of follow along with me as accurately as possible and as easy as possible. So yeah, make sure you put the trophy away just so you don't lose it, because otherwise you'll have to do all that again. So we've only got one more to get. And the best way to do it is just come out this window and then you drop down here. Don't worry, you don't get hurt. So all you need to do is go in here, grab the fire extinguisher off the wall. And then you run all the way around here to the barbecue pit, I think it is. And you turn the fire off with the fire extinguisher. And you grab this bit of meat, which is for the dog. I don't know why I tried to grab it. For some reason, I thought that was the activate button. Yeah, so don't grab that steak. <laughs> it's going to burn you. But yeah, grab the steak once the fire is out, and then turn around and go towards the dog, which is just over here in the garden. If you already have the shovel, you don't need to grab it again, because you just need to dig up this. But give the steak to the dog and wait like a few seconds, and then you're able to pet the dog, and then you get the achievement. Here's me fire extinguishing the dog again, just like I did with the cat. But yeah, there you go, some weird snake arm for some reason, <laughs> and then get the achievement. Yes, you can pet the dog. So I think that I don't have the shovel here, and I try and go over to the shovel, but then I'm like, oh no, I've still got the shovel. So you just want to go to the bit where the dog was standing, and then pick this up. And then you put the scepter on the bit where the shovel usually is. So the shovel's usually in front of the statue. So all you want to do is turn around and put the scepter in the statue's hands. And that is your last trophy. So just run up to the trophy room, put this in, and it'll unlock the wheel that was behind all the trophies. Like I said, at any time if the neighbor catches you or anything like that, you'll just have to find the item that the neighbor basically took from you. The puzzle will still be solved, but the item will be there. So you want to pick up this, go through the door, the cabinet, and then put it on this pedestal on the very far side of the room when you know it's clear. And then all you do is turn it a couple times. I keep trying to turn it here because I don't think it's turned all the way. <laughs> so just turn around and the door behind you will be open. And then all you do is grab the key and that ends that part. So then 
I'm not sure if it's supposed to teleport you here, but it didn't for me, so just load last save and go to where you're supposed to be. And this takes you back to the museum. Pretty sure this is the most frustrating part. This is where he zips around like the flash for me. Because if he doesn't catch you, he'll just power up and move so much faster than you can move. So what you want to do is you want to come up and you want to go into here. Hopefully without the neighbour seeing you, but with me, like I said, I hate stealth, so I'll just try to do it as fast as possible. You want to come in here and you want to open this book and you want to grab the little spanner. Here I was trying to like panic and try to think what to do, like, is he going to come in or, or what? But for some reason he doesn't. So what you want to do is you want to come out and you want to use the little spanner thing on the door that's just outside here. So don't get caught, make sure you've got the spanner and then open this door. And there should be a book this book right here. So you use this book, you go into the room that you were just in, shut the door preferably because I didn't and the neighbour caught me. So I'll put the book in here, neighbour catches you, press that book, that book and then that book. Reveals a bear head, neighbour catches me, but then once you get back to the bear head just put it on the bear statue and then there you go. That's another achievement. And then you want to go, like I was just basically trying to evade the neighbour at this point, I hate this game so much. <laughs> like you guys have no idea how much I hate this game. It's not even the stealth sections of it, it's just the fact it's just Hello Neighbour and it's just so bad. At least it's another achievement game we can play here. So run down here and then you want to go into the garage part, which is taking off the wood. Shut the door because I'm pretty sure the neighbour's following me at this point. And then you want to grab the handle, put it on the car, open the door. Press the handbrake, I don't think it's a handbrake, I think it's for the boot. And then you grab the weird, I think it's a boar head supposed to be, it looks like an ant here. So I think the neighbour is here for me. You can't actually open that, yep there he is. So just make sure you run away from the neighbour. He's not that fast here but if you get stuck on something he moves incredibly fast. So just run away back up, use the boar head on the figure. And then this staircase opens. Just here. You see it right here where I pause it, but I get caught. So come all the way back to it. You don't need any items at this point. You only need the key that's here on the wall. So then you use this, open up the gate. And cutscene triggers, skip the cutscene. And then we're in this loft area. There is also a glitch apparently, like if you don't, if you do skip this cutscene, apparently things might not unlock. So my gamer score being the way it is and me complaining about things not unlocking, I just let it play. Apparently it's something to do with like a speedrun strat, if you speedrun the game it breaks it, but just play it through normally and if you want to skip this cutscene, skip it, but at your own risk, I'm not telling you to skip this cutscene, just leave it running. Also, I have no idea what the story of this game is. Is this some like pedo guy, like try to kidnap kids, or is this his son? I don't, I don't know what's going on. So basically, grab this lever here, and then what you want to do is grab these scissors over here. Don't try and jump over there; you get stuck. And then what you want to do is you want to snip this, and then enter the code nine six eight one three. That's 96813. And then you come over here and snip this, put the lever on it. So this part is actually quite short, but it can be very annoying, which is one of the reasons it took me a little while and you see quite a few edits here. So then you open here and you jump down, back into the same room where the bear head was, I believe. Yep. So there will be bear traps around the floor here. Um, which catch you. They don't hurt you or anything, they just stop you so he can catch you. And then you want to run down here and you want to run underneath the fireplace area. Probably easier to run in the bit that I was looking at a second ago but for some reason I want to run all the way around. And then all you need to do, I say all you need to do like it's easy, you need to pickpocket the neighbour. It's very finicky as well because the item's very thin. 
So you want to try and grab out his pocket. I managed to grab out his pocket when I was underneath something. And he, he did his like phantom hands thing and grabbed me. So with this, you want to grab the fire extinguisher first. Which is here. So like I said, you'll lose this if he grabs you. So make sure that you either do this very fast or don't get caught. And I almost get caught here. Somehow he doesn't catch me. But you run... Just basically try and get away from him at this point if he's chasing you. Like I said, he will move quite fast if he knows you're there. If you get stuck on something, he moves incredibly fast. So then you want to use the actual spanner and you can open the fireplace from here. You might have to like edge out a tiny bit to get the second one. But as long as you're sort of halfway under, he shouldn't be able to get you. But if you see the yellow line come up above in the middle of the screen, move back inside. And you can slide that open, use the fire extinguisher from this angle as well, just to keep you safe. He just doesn't notice, he's like, what's that sound? So then grab the key, that's all you need, just grab that red hot, flaming hot key there and burn your hands. Cool, so now you've got that, the last thing you need to get is the crowbar. So you only need this key and the crowbar to escape. So you want to get this crowbar here, you need to smash the cabinet. I think he glitched here for me, I'm not sure if he's supposed to be standing here the entire time. Because I couldn't actually get out of the door because he was standing there. So the best way I found to do this is jump on it and then smash it. And then you either need to wait for him to leave or lure him away somehow. Yeah, so... He caught me and then he just disappeared, so you just come over here, there's a couple bits of wood on here, take the wood off and then unlock the door. And then this might be the same, so I just left this cutscene in here, but this is basically the end of the game. No idea what the hell is going on with the story. The kid has some sort of weird Stockholm Syndrome with this neighbour, he's like, oh, you kidnapped at me, he's such a nice guy. And then, I don't know why he's doing like a Morty voice. Oh jeez, oh, oh sorry, sorry, rescuer, I need to go back to the neighbour here. But yes, no idea what's going on with the story, but after this you get your 1000G and you can delete this game and banish it forever. <laughs> like, I, the only reason I did this game is because I wanted the gamer score. I don't like this game whatsoever, it's not a good game, at least it's, the only thing I can say about it is it's better than the first one. The first one was just garbage made for like youtube reactors and stuff like that but yeah that is the last achievement guys if you like this different sort of commentary over the top let me know like i said it was only one person on my iris falls video that said they kind of like hearing voiceover for the whole thing instead of just me jumping in whenever there's a a part of the game that needs a voiceover to explain something but like i said thank you for all the support on my previous videos Especially the Hellsinger one, that one is like popping off and you guys really like it for some reason. I'm guessing it's just because it's free achievements for nothing. But it was a really fun video to do. If you guys want to hit me up on Twitch, I'll leave my link in the description. There's also going to be a link to my Discord, because I'm growing the achievement community from my Discord. Since it was, it was mostly just people who enjoyed watching me play random games on Twitch, but I'm turning it more into an achievement community. So if you guys like achievements, and you like helping each other get achievements, and you like the sort of community around people helping each other get achievements and things like that, Join the Discord, say hi to me, say hi to me on Twitch, etc. And yeah, you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.